You can barely see my headband. I gotta squish down. <laughs> or I gotta dress the camera, Monica, be smart. Oh, as a little do I. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna see the ears today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new, or if you haven't seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram from Trend Mood, Indie Makeup Spotlight, Hot Fire Makeup, etc. And I decide if I'm going to be adding any of these new products to my wishlist, or if I'm really considering them, or if I think they're just all washouts. I have a whole playlist of all of these videos because I know some people do like to binge watch through all of them, so I'll have that playlist linked up in the cards if you would like to do so. But I've got so many thoughts and so many things to discuss, so let's just jump right in. The first thing I want to touch on is Lady Gaga's whole makeup line thing. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, how I was kind of interested and in that they were releasing it on Prime Day. So the day this is going up. Prime Day is already done. It was the 15th and the 16th. I didn't buy anything during Prime Day. Yeah. But on top of that, I, s I mentioned that I was kind of interested in the Lady Gaga makeup line because I saw a green product that I thought was a lipstick. It's a, it's a liquid eyeshadow, not a lipstick. But on top of that, the Prime Day release of her products, you weren't even going to get them. It was a pre-order. <laughs> And I found out about this during my last live stream, which if you missed that live stream, I'll throw it up in the cards if you would like to watch that. I had a lot of fun. Thank you everyone who joined me for that live stream. I still have the, the nail polish on and I'm loving the hollow. Gotta say I love it. But I didn't realize until then that this whole thing was a pre-order. So you weren't even going to get the products you purchased on Prime Day until September. It's one thing to do a pre-order for an indie brand. I've done that before for indie brands that may or may not be able to produce limited stock. They're shipping internationally and they want to make sure they've got like their customer base there and like ready. Like they need the like upfront payment. I understand that. What about Lady Gaga and Amazon is indie? It's not. <laughs> this was the biggest money grab I think I've ever seen ever since like the last Jaclyn Hill Morphe collab you know this was not necessary this was not wanted and i think the majority of her products you can also only buy them in kits so you can't even buy just like pick and choose what you actually want to buy they're forcing you to buy a kit and they're kind of forcing you to pre-order it too no no i lost all respect for that i lost all respect for Lady Gaga's makeup brand as a whole because really if you're this money hungry and your brand is just coming out oh Jesus Christ no no so no I did not purchase anything during Prime Day I did not want to purchase anything during Prime Day but it just really turned me off of her whole makeup line in general so I don't think I'm going to be purchasing anything from her line so with that out of the way, let's jump over to Trend Mood because I think I've missed quite a few products. Because I actually haven't been like hella active on Instagram really. Been a little bit busy, so let's see. Where did I leave off? Let's talk about this because this, this has to deal with um, like limited edition products re-releasing. Too Faced just re-released their holiday not the whole collection, but the palette they came out with this past holiday season, which was the Gingerbread Spice palette. They also released the two lip products, Gingerbread Man and the Gingerbread Woman or the Gingerbread Girl lipsticks. I do have one of those lipsticks and I have to say, I actually really like it. It's a really nice color. It's a really nice formula. It's really comfortable, very heavily scented. If you don't like scent, you're not going to like it. I was actually like, okay, so I've gone through ups and downs with this palette and ultimately I know I don't need this. I know I don't. This is just tempting you to purchase something that you really ultimately probably don't need. I look at this and I see a combination of the Chocolate Gold and the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. If you have both of those, you're not going to need this palette. But was I still tempted by it? Yes. Ultimately, this came about because I did it to clutter and one of my close friends here on YouTube, Rare Beauty Envy, she wanted to do originally a makeup trade with one of the palettes I had decluttered and so it was a bit of a more expensive palette so I was looking through her palette collection to pick out palettes that I would trade it for and the gingerbread spice was one of them 
And I was like, you know what? Maybe I should trade for it. Maybe I should get it, you know? And I really thought about it and I told her, you know what? I would be willing to trade this higher end palette that I have for the gingerbread spice palette and then for um i did two palettes because this one was a bit more expensive and it was limited edition but the second palette was from pretty vulgar cosmetics and i still haven't tried any of their eyeshadow palettes either um so i was really thinking about it i was really considering it and then at the end of the day uh she pulled out and said she didn't really want the palette which i totally understand like it's a controversial brand anyway but i totally understood and it really made me think why did i want the gingerbread spice palette so bad like you've got this you've got these palettes you've got these colors why i think it's just the thrill of the new and the thrill of the back for a limited time christmas in july you know <sighs> ultimately i'm glad i didn't because i really don't need this i don't but why do i want it <laughs> I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in another video, but The Ordinary is now available at Ulta, which makes 10 times more sense than it being available at Sephora. And there are certain Ordinary products that I love. I'm currently testing out a few new products, not just from The Ordinary, but I am planning to film a new skincare morning and night routine sometime soon. I don't know if I'm going to split that into two videos yet or if I'm going to just do like one big skincare routine video because I also want to film me actually doing it. So that's coming soon but let me know down below do you want to see two separate videos one for daytime and one for nighttime skincare or do you want to see one long video with everything? Who is making that much noise outside? It is 7 a.m. Okay, so NARS released their summer collection, and I gotta say, I am tempted by one of their palettes. I've never tried a NARS face palette, and f I've heard very mixed things about them, quite honestly. But this is from the NARS Private Paradise collection. So there are two face palettes. I am interested just in the one with, like, the peachy blush. There is a bronzer, a peachy blush, and a blush a peachy blush and a highlighter and this I really want to try this out the bronzer looks a little deep but I think with a light hand I'd probably be able to use it I love the way that blush looks and the highlight looks gorgeous so I'm thinking if I'm being smart I should probably wait until I can see this in store and actually swatch it and make sure I can actually use all of these products within that face palette but it looks so pretty <laughs> at the end of the day isn't that what we're all saying it's so pretty we want it it's new it's shiny like do i need another face palette no is this one tempting me yeah so now the wet and wild and pac-man collection is theoretically available split up from the original full pr package 70 dollars bundle that was originally available i went to my local ulta and they were all sold out <laughs> And then I went online and also most of it was sold out. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how long this is going to be around. I went on the Wet n Wild website and they still have their other limited edition collections still available. Like the Rebel Rose collection, they have the Crystal Caverns collection. So since this is something I actually really want and what I really wanted were also both of the brushes because I'm a video game nerd. I love Pac-Man. I want a collectible brush that has cute little Pac-Mans in the handle. And I didn't want to have to buy their separate bundle kits that included products I didn't want. So I'm going to wait for those to come back in stock because I know they're going to come back in stock. They still have other collections in stock. So I'm going to wait because all I really want are the two brushes, the three lip glosses slash lipsticks. I want all of them except for the blue. The blue has gotten terrible reviews. And then I want the eyeshadow palette. That's really all I want, and I just want that, and I don't want to have to buy other stuff just to get it quicker, because at the end of the day, like, I'm going to get it eventually. They keep their things in stock. It's artificial scarcity for the most part, so patience. <laughs> Telling myself, patience. Something else that was featured on Trend Mood was actually the Hollow Taco Nail Polish release, which if you missed that live stream, I did purchase the whole collection, so I am actually wearing it right now. I love the nail polish. I really was interested because I've never tried a hollow nail polish before, but also I love black nail polish and finding a good black nail polish is tough. So I'm wearing one coat black right now and it actually surprisingly is a one coat black. I know, shocking. If you actually want to see me wear this, check out that live stream because I actually applied it during that live stream. But I'm very impressed. I've worn this for a couple of days now. And I've chipped one nail right here. I gotta fix that right after this video. 
but overall I'm actually really impressed and I think it was really worth it just for the black nail polish but also I really am liking the the hollow top coats the hollow tacos though I have not tried the blue nail polish yet so I think after the black is done I'll try the blue but I'm more of a black nail polish girl I love black nail polish so I'm very happy with it so far so at first I was hella excited for this Natasha Denona is releasing a new mini palette and it is the mini tropic palette and this is it seemed at first all that I had asked for I just wanted a small mini colorful palette but knowing that these are shades from the tropic palette the tropic palette got really mixed reviews uh, and I've seen a couple of reviews on this mini palette and again people are very hit or miss like it's very wishy-washy so so though it seems like this is what I wanted I don't think having it based on one of their more like meh palettes was a good idea I really wanted to see a smaller palette that was based more maybe on the green brown palette or maybe just all greens in my perfect world you know something like that <laughs> But I don't think I'm going to pick this up, even though at first I was really excited that it seems like they had read my mind and they were just like, here, have color in mini form. KKW Beauty released their, I guess, fire summer collection. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I, like, I literally, like, nothing has ever tempted me from KKW ever I'm still waiting I'm still waiting like but no if anything I kind of want the top that she's wearing unless that's yeah that's an actual top I want the top she's wearing in the PR photos but <laughs> I am way too excited about this this is something I actually like I know I've mentioned before that I don't like placing orders directly from company websites unless I'm placing a large order. I might do it for this palette. <laughs> Milani is releasing new palettes and so these are called the Gilded Palettes, part of the Gilded Palette series. So it's like a nine pan eyeshadow palette and then they've got highlighters. And there's one that is green based and it looks it looks stunning it looks stunning and it's got highlighters it's got this really pretty oh god looking at the swatches looking at this this is exactly what i wanted from milani um their other gilded palettes look really pretty but i really just want that green one <laughs> i want it i want it so bad so i actually was in target the other day and i saw the original gilded one which is kind of just the warm neutral one and i was like is the green one here too where's the green one it's not here so the only place I've seen it available so far is on their website directly. I might place an order. I think I'm going to place an order because I really want this palette. And I have no idea when it's going to be available inside any drugstores near me. So, ooh. If this is the same formula as their other palettes that I've actually really enjoyed, oh, then I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. <laughs> so I saw this preview of some new color correctors from Charlotte Tilbury. And I don't know why I'm tempted. I don't need a luxury color corrector. I've got some great affordable ones, but I still haven't tried anything out from Charlotte Tilbury. And maybe something that's a bit more everyday useful might be a good place to start. But I don't even want to imagine how much these cost. Yeah, they're not even going to be available until August or September. But I was just really interested in the second shade because it does look very similar to the Benefit one that I'm currently using up, which just got discontinued. And I've, I do have some drugstore options to use, but I'm not going to lie and say I wasn't interested or tempted by this because I am. And it might be the first Charlotte Tilbury product I actually pick up because I still, I still get sticker shock and I still I have not picked up anything from them yet. Dose of Colors just revealed that they're coming out with a new foundation. So it's called the Meet Your Hue Foundation. There are 42 shades. It is going to be $36 for one fluid ounce of product. It's supposed to be medium to full coverage, a natural matte finish, high pigment, lightweight, long wear. So this sounds like it'd be a good summer foundation. I don't know if I would purchase this. I hope they have this available in store at Ulta because I know most Ultas have a Dose of Colors section bay I don't know what it's called but I would love to like 
get a sample of this swatch it find my correct shade because it does sound like a very good theoretically foundation for summer and i've only the only thing i've ever actually tried from dose of colors has been their lipstick formula which i do like it's very comfortable but i haven't tried anything else from their brand so what the hell is even kylie skin summer like that the video was weird something tells me she's not using these products i don't feel comfortable buying these knowing the reactions and knowing how the first kylie skin release went and how those products were um yeah i haven't brought anything from kylie skin there are a few kylie cosmetics products that i love but that doesn't transfer over to Kylie Skin. I would just recommend staying far away from it. Just use your tried and true skincare products. I think celebrities and makeup brands just aren't getting good advice when they try to go into skincare. Because just stick to what you're good at. Stick to what you're qualified to do. Which, if we're being honest, celebrities aren't qualified to do jack shit other than show up. But <laughs> just... I wouldn't recommend trying any skincare from anything other than a skincare brand. So Real Techniques is really going all out and trying to promote their new Miracle Powder sponge. Looking at the texture, I think it's supposed to be kind of like that Jinko sponge, if I'm not mistaken. But you're supposed to be able to use this wet or dry, but you're supposed to be able to use it with powder, like pressed powder products, I guess. Microfiber technology, maximum powder, pickup, velvety material for evenly blended powder. You can use it wet or dry. Yeah, so I think they're going as like a Jinko dupe for this. I'm not hella interested. I have my favorite makeup sponge, which is the dollar one from Shop Miss A. I love it to death. I just purchased like eight more of them. Uh, and then for actual baking under my eyes, I either use that sponge or I have my little like velvet poof from Laura Mercier that I've had forever. I'll use that. So I don't see a huge need for this, but I think if you do really like that Jinko sponge, if you're really interested in it, this might be a better option to try out or get instead. So I saw this pop up and I could have sworn this wasn't a new eyeshadow palette. This is from Tarte and it's, if I'm being 100% honest, I thought that this eyeshadow palette was just the Too Faced, uh, what was it, the white peach the soft peachy mattes whatever peachy palette they came out with that wasn't really that great I thought it was this but with like the saturation turned up a little bit <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like Ugh. this does not really look interesting also it's a horrible angle for a photo just putting that out there it could look totally different in person it could look totally different in swatches but from what I can see right here This next product is from, where is this from? This is a collab with Stacey Marie MUA and Be Perfect Cosmetics. I haven't tried anything from that brand, but this is, I guess, round two of the Carnival. This is the Carnival XL Pro, and it's gigantic. This thing is huge. This looks like a Morphe palette, like on crack. <laughs> Not to say that it isn't pretty, but I know I would never rate for this. It's huge. How much is it anyway? Okay, so it's in pounds, so it's from the UK. So it's 42 pounds, it's gonna be a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not interested. I think it's great that this person has gotten a second collab. It looks great, honestly. I think the colors are picked pretty well, but I know me as a person, me, the way I do my makeup, I wouldn't reach for this, so I'm not gonna get it. So moving over to Indie Makeup Spotlight, I just had to mention something that I literally cannot wait to be released because I don't care how much it cost, I don't care where it is, I'm getting this. This is from Makeup a Murderer. This is the Crime Scene Trace Evidence Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1 Paint Chips. We have not seen the inside of this palette yet, but this is something I am I am gonna jump on this. I love the whole aesthetic of this brand. I had never heard about this brand before this, and I get I'm, I'm literally gagging. I get I for those of you that don't know, um, I grew up in a family that had a lot of police officers and detectives. So I grew up kind of around that, around a lot of crime scene photos and whatnot. When I went to school, I actually majored in criminal justice. So I went to school, I went to college majoring in that. And I spent a couple of years working in a forensic anthropology lab. So, I mean, crime scenes, everything like that cadaver labs have been a huge part of my life and 
I mean, not to say I love it. It sounds a bit morbid. Well, I am a bit morbid, but it's the whole, the, everything. I've been a huge part of it. Or it's been a huge part of my entire life. To have a, a makeup palette like this, just mushing together my two biggest interests along other than books. Yes, give it to me, please. I need it right now. Let me just throw my money at you. Ah, and the whole cover is the crime scene tape. And I just, I seriously love everything about this. I do. Ah, <laughs> I can't wait. Like I'm literally like waiting with bated breath for them to one, reveal the palette, which they haven't already, right? I've been following their Instagram too. Yeah, they haven't opened it yet, but um, I am too excited. I am way too excited. And I'm also excited that it says volume one because that means that there, there might be more. There might be more volumes. I want more volumes. I want, I want the whole collection. And the last update slash picture that I want to go over today is a restock from Ace Beauté. They restocked their green blue palette. And I, I'm really debating whether or not to get this because I do have other blue palettes. But I think I'm going to pick it up because Ace Beauté is actually on my list of indie brands that I really wanted to try this year. And really, that's the only palette that's been interesting me at all. So I think I'm going to pick that up. I don't know how soon. I don't know if it's actually still in stock. It just came back in stock, I think, last week. But if you missed that video all about like my goals, or I think I did a video about like my goals for 2019, pretty sure I mentioned a list of indie brands that I want to try out. And that was one of them. I actually have the list on my computer and I keep track of it. I've tried a couple of brands out, but not as many as I probably should have at this point in the year. So I really want to try that out. So I think I'm going to place an order sometime soon, probably this month or August for that palette just so I can actually try out Ace Beauté and their formula because I've heard really good things, honestly. I just haven't found a palette before this blue-green one that really interested me. So thank you guys so much for watching this edition of the Be Wow. If I missed anything, if there's anything else you want me to react to, leave it in the comments down below. And also don't forget to mention whether or not you want to see one or two videos for my upcoming skincare routine video. If you want to see one video for day, one video for night, or if you want to see one full skincare routine video. Thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.